Lotus Arts de Vivre on its 30 years long trip to preserve oriental designs and traditions presents the Scarab range with its exuberant colors. These wild shades go well with the truly imperial designs of the East. The Scarab beetle has captured the imagination of the ancient Egyptians who were preoccupied with the afterlife as the mummies and large monuments testify. The scarab pushing a ball bigger than its own size up a hill and young scarabs coming out was considered the epitome of the afterlife and was revered and used in jewellery as well as many other subjects. Using these wings and necks of the beetles is the most tedious task one can imagine and it takes six to nine people and three and a half months average to finish one of the scarab items of the Lotus Arts de Vivre range. Only wings of beetles who have died of a natural death retain their color and they do so for hundreds of years. Well first of all it is a very beautiful animal with great colors, beautiful colors and it has this uh, thousand year long history of uh, being uh, a magical reproducer pu pu pushing a large ball up a hill and then little scarabs come out again and that has tickled the Egyptians in, to include the beetle into their uh, range of deities uh, use the beetle in many many daily objects and uh, the Chinese have done the same and uh, everybody who was preoccupied with afterlife like the Egyptians uh, building uh, pyramids mummifying their dead all that was done the hope that something happens after you are dead and uh, this uh, miraculous reputation the, the animal has uh, is actually wherever it's available they, 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 they love the animal and it's, it's a mix of beauty and that belief. Well, I guess every designer is challenged by great materials. And we're lucky to have this material in abundance in Thailand. The, the lifespan of these beetles is rather short. Uh, the color is only fast if they die a natural death. So we are able to harvest them and use them. And then it's, uh, the challenge is to uh, incorporate them into our design and they are great color there it's uh, similar to enamel better than enamel and uh, it's a stunning oriental color of great fastness there is a vase in the imperial palace in Tokyo from the 13th century and it's the colors are still intact a covered vase by, by scarab wings and uh, well, the challenge is, uh, if you have a, a frame like this here, like this uh, bangle here, the frame is made of silver because gold would be double the weight. The great challenge here is to do something light. And then one has to cut a, the shape in paper first. And then cut the beetle wing after the paper and then glue the beetle wing into the shape. That gluing process alone takes eight to 10 minutes for each piece because it has to be pressed down by hand until the glue has set. But before that, there's a long process of kind of uh, shaving this wing down uh, to lose weight again and uh, but leave enough strength, then reinforce it a little bit uh, with uh, some raisin um, to make it unbreakable and uh, then follows the paper sample, the cutting, the gluing and so on. And a lot of these things have to be done two or three times. And we are really uh, very, very lucky to have the, the Thai patients and magic hands available to do this job. And uh, for this handbag, for instance, uh, it takes uh, a large number of people, many, many months to finish. We can only produce two or three of them per year. And this has a miraculous opening 
uh, mechanism by just squeezing the legs a little bit and then it opens up. Well, these are obviously very rare items. Very small number is being produced and uh, eventually they will be collected pieces because sooner or later this art will die out because nobody will have the patience to do a work like that, which takes months. We're always looking out for difficult processes that are difficult to copy, require great management to achieve quality, and the scarab wing as such offers itself. And uh, well, it's a great tradition. I doubt whether this can be done in 20 years from now. And uh, we are uh, happy to do this as long as we can. The Lotus Arts de Vivre Scarab Collection includes a number of exquisite pieces. This beautiful parrot handbag covered by scarab wings is a labor of love crafted from diamonds and rubies. Each scarab wing is painstakingly cut by hand to size, shaved from the inside, reinforced and added. The wings are then added one by one to the bag shell and each of them needs to be pressed down by hand for five minutes to assure that the glue holds. It takes three months by two people to complete the job. Then the frame of gilded sterling silver set with diamonds is added as well as the silk lining inside. Adoring the beauty of nature, Lotus Arts de Vivre has turned the natural into these unique dragon and snake bangles by covering the body with scarab wings. The head is made of sterling silver enhanced with ice diamonds, pink tourmalines and rubies for eyes mounted in black rhodium sterling silver and 18 karat gold. As well as the wings of the scarab beetle, further jewellery has been fashioned from the thorax of the creature. These earrings are brought to its glory by pearl drops set at the base of each scarab wing. Another design is decorated with 18 karat gold beads, round old diamonds, black agate spaces and scarab wings. Here's a charming way of imitating nature into an art piece to wear using fusing glass for the body of the scarab ring and set with full cut diamonds to emphasize the design. This stunning amber ring consists of a silver beetle decorated with faceted rubies in 18 karat gold as eyes, white rose cut diamonds in 18 karat gold on the beetle's back and scarab wings. Gold plated silver is lined inside the ring shank. 